Hello, this is Robert J. Morris. I have uh, an EPG and update. Uh, this is Brian Dennison and his address to police officers. This just aired about 21 minutes ago, and uh, I'll play it for you right now here. You know a police officer out there, um, they need to listen. I, for those watching this video, it is uh, February 8th. And uh, I am making this video uh, to reach all police officers. So if you're watching this and you know a police officer out there, um, they need to listen. Uh, they need to know what's going on. And uh, if they're not seeing what's happening out there, I'm here to fill them in. So if you can get this out to them, they, they need to listen. So first of all, I just wanna say that I admire what you do as a police officer. Um, I'd lived it for 24 years. It's something I always wanted to do when I was a kid. And I loved what I did. I loved helping people. I loved protecting those that needed protection. And I loved going every single day to be able to do that, risking my life for Canadians. And that's what you're being called to do today. There is an evil in this world right now and there are things happening and that you know deep down in your gut, in your soul, in your heart, that what is happening is wrong. You know that your police service and the government are actually providing unlawful orders to you to uphold. You know that. You can feel that because I feel that. I am still a constable and will be forever because that's what I'll do. I will continue to protect Canadians and anybody else that comes into my life from outside of Canada, I'll be there for them as well. And you are exactly the same as I am. So I'm calling on all of you police officers across Canada that are dealing with any of these truckers or any of the protesters. They're not really protesters. They're trying to regain their freedoms back that have been taken away from them for the last two years. So you police officers out there, you have families, you have wives, significant others, children, do you want them to grow up not having what you had growing up? No freedoms to do what you want to do? Just the government and the police headquarters telling you everything that you have to do to put in your body? Is that what you want for your children? So when you're out there in the line and you're dealing with people who are just wanting to regain their freedoms back, Time to have some humanity. Time to go against unlawful orders from your police chiefs, your hierarchy, even right down to the sergeant on the street. If he tells you to do something and deep down you know that it's wrong, unlawful, and it goes against your morals and they're your core values, you are obliged to stand down. Obliged. That is your duty. Your duty is to uphold the law. Your duty is not to do what I have seen in some of these photos coming back from Ottawa. I was there. It was very peaceful. I walked around. I met a lot of policemen. I met a lot of truckers. What is happening now, what the police chief in Ottawa is doing, and the mayor and Justin Trudeau is out right criminal what you guys are starting to do against those truckers, those peaceful demonstrators. Do not partake in that. That is not what you are. You have values that you hold dear to yourself and the public holds you in high esteem. Do not throw that away by continuing to do any of these unlawful orders. Follow who you are. Do not follow leaders that are unlawfully telling you to do things. Treat people with respect and dignity. Because you know what? They're fighting for you. They're fighting for your children. They're fighting for your children's children, your grandchildren, for the future generations. So as a police officer, do what you signed up to do protect Canadians. 
you can run into the bullets it's like you've always done here's the bullets coming at you the bullets are unlawful orders the bullets are bullying intimidation by the government by police leaders don't partake in that do not do it you guys are better than that show who you really are police officers will shine in this country you will be so highly respected if you get on the right side of history and it's being written right now so now is the time to make the choice i've been saying this for months get off the fence do something speak up speak out please deep down in your soul you know what's happening is wrong time to act be that person that you really are you are there to protect and serve do that thank you yeah all right so that was uh brian dennison i'm just going to post that as is uh, stay tuned for more updates from epgn media and we will uh see you next time thank you for watching